This is a channeling session done on November 7th, channeling in horse energy, horse spirit consciousness, as this has been a very strong symbol for me this entire month, showing up in my own life and also in the lives of those close to me as a form of communication and guidance from the higher dimensions. So we're going to be bringing these energies through, listening to the horse animal spirit wisdom. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your gift. Thank you for your expression of passion, your expression of power. Allow for yourself to feel your strength, feel your power. These qualities of strength and power are fundamental to what you are. Understand that no matter what you experience in your reality, you are never disconnected from your strength or your power, for it is your strength and your power that you use to create all of your reality. Every single aspect of your reality you create utilizing your creativity, your imagination, and your strength and power which are infinite. They are intrinsic to your being. Allow for yourself to run free, to roam this earth in a way that represents the deepest levels of freedom within your body and freedom within your spirit. 
Freedom is another intrinsic aspect to your being. When you occupy freedom as a vibrational awareness, and you occupy your strength, and you occupy your power, you are in resonance with the collective spirit of horse kind. We work to ground into your reality symbolic representations of your own strength, your own power, and your own freedom. We reflect these aspects back to you. So when you look at us, these aspects of your being become automatically awakened. In addition to possessing strength and power, we also possess aspects of gentleness, aspects of intuition. Recognizing that your truest self possesses all that you prefer within your being. Many of you feel that you are more than meets the eye. You sense the sea of infinite potential that you know is real, you know is true. And many of you feel that you are just beginning to scratch the surface of your own true self. Rest assured that when you begin to pour your energy into the discovery of some of these components we've mentioned, such as strength and freedom and power, other aspects of your infinite nature will then begin to surface at the level of the conscious mind. And as it surfaces at the level of the conscious mind, it will reveal to you more aspects of your true self. So as you embody strength, you will find you will begin to experience your power. As you embody your freedom, you will begin to embody your infinite imagination. And as you embody your infinite imagination, you will begin to expose yourself to your strength, to your power. Remember that putting any energy at all into a fundamental quality of who you are will immediately reveal to you other aspects of your true nature. Recognizing that any energy you put into supporting yourself will always be returned to you tenfold. For when you share energy with your truest self and you feed your truest self, your truest self will always reveal to you more of what it is. It will always guide you down the trails of self-discovery so you can more clearly see who you are, through synchronicity, through intuition, through knowingness. All of these aspects become obvious in relationship to putting energy into just one aspect of your true nature. So if you say to yourself, I am creative because I know I am creative, and then you choose to express your creativity, other aspects of your true nature will then become obvious. So we encourage you, invest in yourself and you will pay yourself back tenfold, one hundredfold, a thousandfold. Because remember, you are an infinite being. You are this universe. And as you invest in yourself, your infinite nature, which is all that is, all of creation, will then take that energy and multiply it. When you invest in all of the different aspects of your true nature, such as your infinite imagination, your freedom, your strength, your power, your unconditional love, when you invest in all of these aspects, you will find that your truest self will come knocking at your door. You will begin to recognize that energy as a primordial life force that has been within you all along, but was simply waiting for you to emit the invitational energies. And as you emit the invitational energies through embracing and cultivating the fundamental aspects of your character, of your spirit, you will open the door completely to that which you actually are. It is always a choice to 
fortify and amplify and discover your truest self. The choice is always available to you. Some of you find yourselves engaging in things you do not prefer, engaging in things you may consider to be pleasure-based distractions. And when you find yourself engaging in an activity that is meant to numb or is meant to fill an illusion of a void, recognize that that is actually a gift. It's actually a gift because many of you become judgmental toward yourselves when you do these things. But recognize that's a gift you are showing yourself. For whenever you are supporting a reality you do not prefer and you feel that contrasting energy that feels like inauthenticity or feels shallow or feels like it is empty, it is you showing yourself that you're moving in a direction that is not true for you. And just like that, you can turn it around and say, all right, well, if I know that this is something that is truly inauthentic to me, then what do I resonate with in a way where I understand that these other options are actually a part of who I am, an extension of who I am? So whenever you find yourself deviating from your truest path, let that be a moment of reconciliation where you integrate with your knowingness of who you are and then begin to look into expressions of your imagination, begin to look into expressions of your freedom, expressions of your power, expressions of your strength, expressions of your creativity. And look into what actions you can take within your reality that will allow for you to blaze that trail of exploring those options, exploring those aspects that are intrinsic to who you are. And as you run down that path of embracing those different aspects, your truest self will be there to guide you along the way and to reveal more aspects of that which you are as you explore the great mystery of creation. When you feel you wish to explore yourself in a way that fully embodies power, acceleration, compassion, creativity, and freedom, think of our energies. Think of how it feels when we run and our hair blows in the wind. And we run with our families. We run with our communities into new locations, running wild and free. Imagine what it feels like to be us. And it will allow for you to tap into, again, those aspects of your own being that we represent, that we reflect back to you. We will share one other teaching for you. Many of you are familiar with the swatting mechanism that our tail possesses when flies or bugs come near. Whenever you feel that there is something that is getting you down, or something that is overwhelming you, or something that is really rubbing you the wrong way, imagine that energy. And then imagine that it is shrinking to become that of a little fly. Whatever the issue is in your reality, begin to imagine it becomes that of a fly in terms of its size and its significance, the weight associated with it. And as you reduce it to a fly, Allow for your entire energy field to feel like our tail, simply swishing the air, brushing the air, and telling that fly, you cannot land here. And you are just a fly. You have no power over me. You have no ability to do anything to me at all, for I am free for I embrace my true nature. And then move in a way that represents those intrinsic qualities, freedom, creativity, imagination, strength, power. 
So allow for whatever it is you feel that is challenging you to become that of the fly. Allow for your auric field, your entire energy field, to swish it away and say you cannot land here. And then act in a way that represents your true power, your true self. And you will find that the challenges that you face will no longer feel like they are limiting, will no longer feel like they are weighting you down. You will instead feel a lightness. You will feel inspiration and you will feel a knowingness that any challenge that you experience, you can always handle, you can always overcome because it is your challenge and you have called it in to explore yourself through the lens of overcoming challenge, through strength, through power, through creativity, through freedom, and through imagination. Be unlimited and be free and run with us. We will come whenever you call. We have been a part of a balancing relationship with the psychology of your species for thousands of years. And we will remain this way for you. So you can always work with us. You can always understand us. Visit us in person if you wish to really crystallize and understand our energy. We are always happy to play with you, and we will always impart powerful teachings to you whenever you call our name. Thank you for your gift, human family. Thank you for your co-creative expression and your relationship with our kind over the generations.